And before the NGO started, what actually beat me to the NGO was when I, where I was working, I actually met an amputee. You know, for people like us, we when we meet amputee, we are eager to speak with them. Mm -hmm. We want to know what the challenge is. Why are they in that situation? How can we help? And meeting the woman, I was trying to speak with her. And she was like, I met her at Bagada General Hospital where she was just sitting at the reception. Mm -hmm. Madam, why are you sitting here? She was like, she has been discharged, but she can't go because she's still owing the hospital. Mm -hmm. She was like, you are owing the hospital how much? He said she's owing the hospital 200,000 naira. And she said her husband is a weather. How come about the amputee, amputation? She said a uh, BRT boss eat her and ran away at round my toe. What do you do? She said she oaks. Mm -hmm. She sells pure water at my toe. I was like, no. This woman cannot get a prosthesis. Cannot afford that. And I was not like, I cannot in I cannot help in the area of paying your hospital bill, mm. but I can help in the area of prosthesis. Okay. So I went back, I made some friends, I went back to my church, and I told her, Do you mind doing a fundraising for you? She said she doesn't mind. So I took her to my church, I invite friends, and we did a fundraising for her. And we are able to mm. get our prosthesis. Wow. And so this is where the dream started. So I was like, we can actually do more for these people. We have a lot of people in this situation. When I got to her house, I was like, oh, this person definitely will just come back. And what happened to most amputees when they cannot get a means of survival, when they cannot get a prosthesis, mm. they go into depression. Okay. Because somebody who has been going out and coming in before cannot go out again and now have to be staying at home. So they go into depression. Going into depression, high blood pressure starts. Mm. And through that, their life is shortening. And I don't want to believe that some would um, commit suicide as a result of that. Yes, some commit suicide. I th when, I was, when I was in school, I met a patient that told me he was a king, a mm. king of a town. He told me that when he woke up and he found out the leg has been amputated, he took drug. He wanted to kill himself. Mm. It was, it was God just saved him because the nurses around are actually sensitive okay. that this man has actually taken something to kill himself, and they rescued him. Wow. If not, he would be gone. So it was not like it. I was not. I asked him, "Why do you want to kill yourself? You can always get the prosthesis and get back to your feet." He said, "Oh, he doesn't even know he can get a prosthesis. Okay. That he was thinking." It's all gone. Maybe you will now have to be on the wheelchair. So it means that so many people do not know that they can actually get back on their feet of without course, artificial limbs. Of course, we still have some people who don't know. Some think they are they need to go abroad mm. before they can get the limb. They don't even know there are people who can actually make it right here for them. So it's actually not the end of life. Yes, it's actually not the end of life. It is just the beginning of another phase of life. Wow. Okay, uh, let's look at, um, uh, we have um, an artificial limb here. Yes. This is an example. What exactly do you call this? This is a below knee prosthesis. Okay. It's a below knee prosthesis. And when we say below knee, below knee is actually a layman language for okay. an amputation that is below the knee. Mm. Like this now is not having a knee joint because it's below the knee. So okay. it's only half the foot and this part of it that contains the remaining part of the leg. We okay. call it stump. Mm. So this old seat. And the patients. And so looking at this, don't you think it would be heavy to use compared to what used to be there? Yes, what used to be there actually is heavier than this. Really? Yes, but because it is attached to the body, to the body, we don't okay. feel it. We don't know. Hmm. So this is not even as heavy as what was removed. Okay. But since this is attached. Yes, the patients know something is attached. But you know, it is a time of adaptation. It will get to a time the patient will adapt. Mm. The patient gets adapted to the system and does not even feel the weight. Okay. All right. Um, I know some persons would like to uh, know more about um, Help Walk, okay. your NGO where uh, you, get to, uh, try, you get to help people to see how you can respond for them. So do you have a website? Yes, we have a website. The website is www.helpwork.org. Okay. And so you can reach us at our email, our gym, our info at helpwork.org. Okay. And also our phone number is 07038 All right. Okay. Now, what exactly has, uh, would you say the government has done? Do you, do you think the government is doing enough 
in helping people get artificial limbs? Yeah, in the area of artificial limbs, we've not actually seen government helping people. Okay. If not, and which we even at general hospitals and all yes, that. we've not seen. Okay. We've not seen government coming into this to help people who need the limb. Government has not actually been attending to that at all hmm. right now. Do you do you have, do you think there's a, a particular reason for that? Yeah, we don't really know, but maybe maybe government is not seeing it yet. Okay. Maybe okay. they are not seeing it yet. So do you think the government can actually do something? In this of regard? course. Government can do something in this regard okay. because these people actually need to come back to their feet. If we actually need the community to be effective, to be function, functional, and um, to reduce the rate of poverty, to reduce the rate of poverty okay. in our community, then government needs to support these people. Okay, we can put this down. Yes. Okay. All right. That uh, government can still support people. Yes, government can support these people. Mm. The, all they need is to get a limb. Mm. Once they get the limb, they can go back to their daily activities. They can go back to their work. They can earn a living for themselves. All right. Uh, very quickly before we go, um, what do you think could be the major causes of becoming an amputee or the causes of amputation? What do you think could possibly lead to that? Yes, there are, there are different causes of amputations. And how can it be prevented? Yes, we have we have one which is um traumatic amputation, which can be caused either by um car accident, somebody who is involved in an accident that okay. can lead to amputation. Yes. Then we also have um diseases. There are diseases that cause it. And majorly currently what we have that cause more amputation is diabetics. Mm. And when when most patients will come across that diabetic and an amputee, they don't even know they are diabetic. Until it gets to state maybe they're having a diabetic ulcer, the ulcer is not healing, and maybe some some cells are dead. Okay. And once some cells are dead, then that is a state of amputation. That part of the body needs to be amputated. So people need to be cautious. If you are if you are diabetic and you know, then take good care of yourself. Ensure you don't have injuries, wounds, because for a diabetic patient, when they walk the Lower extremities like the hand, the foot, there are some numbness at times that they don't feel, it is not sensitive to touch. Mm. So when they have a wound, they might not even know. Mm. So that means they have to take care of their lower extremities, their extremities, their leg and their hands so that they don't have injury. Then once they are able to protect that, they won't, they, there won't be amputation. Then for people who don't have diabetics yet, then they should take good care of that. They should check. I think we should check our blood sugar time to time mm. to ensure that we don't get into that. And if we're in that, then we should take good care of ourselves so that we don't have diabetic ulcer. All right. Uh, uh, finally, how do we take away uh, stigma from amputees? Yes. You know, uh, people do have this um, uh, impression yes. about them. So what do you have to say to a person who's watching? Yes. About amputees. For people watching, I think maybe let me start from a patient. I have a patient who was actually working with, I think, um, a private institution, and the, she, the, the, the patient is an amputee right now. The patient was covering everything up. He does not want the office to know. Mm. And I said, Why? Your office should know. Your office should even assist you with this. He was like, If they should know, they will suck me. Mm. They will suck me because they would think I won't be able to produce again. So the truth is, an amputees can always produce. What they need is their limb. We shouldn't, they are not physically challenged once they get to the limb. They can always do what we do. An amputee is drive car. Mm. They type, they do almost everything we do. But all they need is our assistance to get the limb. Okay. We shouldn't, we should not see them as, an amputee was talking to me and he said, I don't want to be seen as a disabled. Let's stop seeing them as disabled. Let's do what is right to them, what they need to come back to the community and be their person. Not seeing them, categorizing them as disabled and um, thinking they cannot produce again because they are now a beauty. They can still do that. Mm. So let's bring them back into the community. Let's help them. Uh, giving them money doesn't help them. Like giving them food doesn't help them. Give them a limb. All right. That is what we help them.
All right, thank you so much uh, for your time. I've been speaking uh, with Elizabeth Aladi, uh, the founder of Help Walk. Uh, it's an NGO that helps uh, amputees to get back to their feet by providing artificial limbs and other uh, uh, things like that. We want to appreciate you for taking time out to join us on the show at this time. Thank you so much. Uh, I am Rotimi Akintode. Thank you so much for being there. Send me pieces of back together now. What's your vision?